Greetings friends, the beast is down. And I forget how big the damn thing is. I think these blades on it make it look deceptively small. So there's the front blade set on a blade hub that I made with a sheet of uh, like five mil steel and then I just bolt, I just welded the collars on uh, there and it's bolted in two places. Uh, you can see I've got it right on the front, that was planned. This, with the heavy, very heavy rotating weight needs to be slammed as close as possible to the actual turbine and I'm not joking, it's near, near enough touching. There's about two inch space there. Uh, this hub is very heavy, it's made from 10 mil plate which were eight inches by four inches with the corners nipped off. Uh, this is an axle spindle uh, and on the top, I'm, on the front and the back, I've got those collars welded on. <clears throat> uh, this is the device which I use to raise and lower the motor, which is here. What an absolute beast this thing has been. That's just a bog standard a one kilowatt motor and you can see it's not even very wide. I'll show you the shenanigans around there. There's the motor frame adjustment thing. Uh, this thing here, I made this from scratch, which just fits over the top. I needed that because this bit, which makes the turbine swivel, came off a Chinese turbine. You can see the base there with the bolts. Uh, the frame is all made out of scrap. Uh, these are the frame angle adjustment device, which points it up in, in the air. Uh, you can see, you should be able to see the angle there with the spy, spider's web. Uh, looking on the back, it's just normal hinges welded on that hinge that up. Whoa, I've noticed that, look. I've noticed the bolts come off the bearing. Uh, I didn't explain the reason I'm taking it down is because it's going to be a storm. So my kid and his mate are here, they took it down and I'm going to check it over and they put it back up. So that'll have to get sorted. There's the tail, which is about two meters long. And that's cut out of a sheet of uh, like some kind of weird galvanized stuff. So yeah, I just wanted to show you while it's down and that's how loose the chain, chain runs look and it runs perfectly. When the blades go round, it'll tighten up on the uh, drive side, you see at the bottom. I don't know if you'll be able to see. At the bottom is the drive side, so that tightens up and then the other side loosens. I had to bolt this weight on, I had to balance the hub. Uh, it could do a balancing again. Uh, I'll just show you the tower wall. I've got it down, although we looked at that the other day. Uh, the wires need inspecting. Uh, that's okay. That's been melted. Never mind. And the winch, I got my kid to tip it upside down and hit it on the bottom with a hammer, gently, a couple of hundred times and got rid of most of the mud. Although there is still some. And I did notice something on the wire somewhere because I'm always checking. I can't see the girls looking for me. I can imagine that. Right, so that was a look at that beauty while it's taken down. So hopefully it'll go back up and there's supposed to be a storm coming on Tuesday. So there might be some uh, severe action to be had. Sweet. Also, I've got to mention, you may have seen these before. These spirit levels actually help when the tower goes up to make sure it's as level as it can possibly be. Sweet, and all in all, that weighs about 75 kilos on top of there. And the new turbine with these blades should weigh 60. She is a beast for sure. Sweet, see you soon. Nearly forgot, I didn't show you this side. And the huge drive wheel there, which is, that's a 28. That's either a 28 or a 26, but I could do with that to be fair. And this thing is a 37 and it's massive and it does work. Uh, lots of rust, lots of weird brown dust. I'd forgotten I'd actually put these wooden blocks on. Whoops. I'd forgotten I'd actually put these wooden blocks on to raise it up a bit so that I could move this forward and backward if I need to. And it didn't hit in there. Turn the brightness up a sec. I'll just turn the brightness up so you can see there's two separate gears there. They're not joined together. Uh, very important to have that bolt very important to have that bolt done up going into the, the hole in the drive shaft. Uh, also very important to have this collar on the back so that when the turbine goes up and the tail is normally pointing down that the whole assembly doesn't slide down because it will take this out of alignment. 
this is just a bolt together thing to keep the tail on but it works pretty well and that's the other side of the uh, blade hub that I made that's had a right old whack there that has had a right old whack all right anyway I'll see you soon Sweet.